good morning to all a vanakkam from chennai i am dr k c vignesh senior lecturer from center for early childhood care research sikri department of pediatric and preventive dentistry faculty of dental sciences shrihar poru chennai india to present about international care reduction and assessment system igdas and oru my table of contents are introduction history what is measuring dental care igdas 1 and 2 igdas scoring criteria igdas decision tree iccms iccms 4d care care cycle conclusion introduction the actual burden of dental care prevalence varies with the care assessment tool which we use care diagnostic potential can be assessed through decayed missing filled tooth index dmft international care detection assessment system igdas 2 and care assessment spectrum and treatment cast in this presentation we will be focusing on igdas igdas forces a new model for the measurement of dental caries developed and based on the systematic review of the literature on clinical caries detection system it is an international system for caries detection on comparison of data on different locations different points igdas can be used to assess the initiation and progression of dental caries and also used in epidemiological and clinical research and also to assess the severity and incidence of dental caries history of igdas three caries expert groups were formed to report the literature within clinical classification systems on coronal caries root caries and caries adjacent to restorations the expert group dealing with the coronal caries suggested using the extant kid record system erk because that system used histology as a validation and activity assessment of caries lesions are also been tried with the erk system eventually the five scores in the original erk system were extended to seven scores in the igdas that is abbreviated as igdas 1 by pits the other two caries expert groups at the dandi meeting devised a scoring system for root caries lesions caries adjacent to restorations the later eventually became similar to that of developed for coronal caries the expert group also suggested that the igda should be a two digit system where the first digit was the status of the surface and the second digit score was the igda's carry status of the tooth surface in 2004 there was a consensus conference in boston usa where it was agreed that the original score 3 shadow lesion 4 enamel cavitation should be swapped places in the igda scoring system as shadow lesions histologically Lee were a bit more mature or deeper than the enamel cavitated lesions thus the igdas 2 was devised which eventually became understood as the igdas by analyzing the concepts from the research a recent review of 29 caries detection criteria systems concluded that the majority of the current caries detection systems were ambiguous and did not measure the disease process at the different stages more recently several new criteria systems were proposed and evaluated again the criteria systems vary in how the disease were measured what is measuring dental caries it's a process of assigning values to characteristics according to the set of rules which are facilitated through indices the numerical value according to the relative status of the population through the graduated scale with definite upper and lower limits which permit and facilitate the comparison which either each other population which are classified with the same criteria and methods by Russell Ayer the stages of caries development are the caries enamel caries dentinal caries pulpitis and periodontitis in igdas 1 and 2 the d in igdas stands for detection of dental caries by the stage of the caries process topography the pit and fissure or smooth surfaces anatomy crown versus roots restoration or sealant status the a in igdas stands for the assessment of caries by stage either cavitated or non cavitated activity either is active or arrested igdas scoring criteria or two digit coding system a two number coding system is suggested to identify the restoration or sealants with the first digit followed by the appropriate caries score as a second digit for example if the tooth is restored with amalgam which also exhibited an extensive distinct cavity with visible dentin would be coded as 46 so the first digit 
four is the amalgam restoration and six is extensive distin cavity with visible dentin an unrestored tooth with a distinct cavity would be scored as 06 the suggested restoration on seal and coding system is as follows in which the first digit represents 0 as a sound that is surface not restored or sealed that is used with the codes for primary caries 1 is a sealant is so a partially sealed and 2 is a full uh, pit and fissure sealant has been applied to the tooth 3 it's a tooth colored restoration it's a composite restoration 4 is a amalgam restoration 5 is a stainless steel crown 6 porcelain or gold or pfm post infused to metal crown or crown or veneer or inlay or onlay or any other restorative material 7 is lost or broken restorations there is fractured restoration 8 is a temporary restoration 9 is used for the following conditions that is 90 implant for other non caries related reasons 91 implant placed due to the caries 92 pontic placed for reasons other than caries 93 pontic placed for caries reasons 96 tooth surface cannot be examined that is surface which has been excluded 97 tooth missing because of caries that is that is tooth surface will be called as 97 and 98 tooth missing for reasons any other than caries that is all tooth surfaces will be coded as 98 99 it's an error and second digit coding system score 0 is for sound to surface and score 1 is first visual change in the enamel seen only after the prolonged air drying or restricted to within the confines of a pit or fissure score 2 that is score 2 is distinct visual change in the enamel and code 3 is localized enamel breakdown that is without clinical signs or visual signs of dental involvement code 4 underlying dark shadow from dentin code 5 distinct cavity with vis visible dentin code 6 extensive distinct cavity with visible dentin next the scoring criteria two digit coding system these are the two rows of pictures which represents the pictorial representation of caries in anterior and posterior teeth in which code 0 sound tooth surface there should be no evidence of caries either no or questionable change in the enamel translucency after prolonged air drying that is approximately 5 seconds surface with development defects such as enamel hypoplasia fluorosis tooth wear such as attrition abrasion erosion and extensive or interstitial signs will be recorded as sound and first visual change in the enamel is code 1 when seen it has in a wet condition there is no evidence of any change in the color attributable to caries activity but after prolonged air drying a caries opacity is visible that is not consistent with the clinical appearance of the sound enamel and distinct visual change in the enamel when viewed wet is code 2 there is a caries opacity or discoloration that is not consistent with the clinical appearance of the sound tooth enamel to note the lesion which will be still visible when in a dry condition the lesion is located in a close proximity that is in touch within 1 mm 1 mm of the gingival margin or adjacent to the orthodontic or prosthodontic attachments on a tooth surface and code 3 is a localized enamel breakdown due to caries with no visible dentin once tried for approximately 5 to 10 seconds there is a distinct loss of enamel surface integrity the base and the walls of the cavity are within enamel and dental is not visible if in doubt or to confirm the visual assessment you can use a who or cpa dental probe can be used with no digital pressure to confirm the loss of surface integrity and underlying dark shadow from dentin with or without localized enamel breakdown is a code 4 so these type of lesions which can be appear as a shadow of discolored dentin which can be visible through the enamel surface beyond the white or brown spot lesions which may not may or may not show signs of localized enamel breakdown the appearance is often seen more easily when the tooth is wet and is a darkening and interesting shadow which may be gray blue or brown in color and distinct cavity with visible dentin it's code 5 cavitation in opaque or discolored enamel exposing the dentin beneath involving less than half of the tooth surface the who or cpa dental probe can be used to confirm the presence of a cavity in dentin and this can be achieved by sliding the ball end along the 
surface and the dent in cavity is detected if the ball enters the opening of the cavity. The extensive distinct cavity with visible dentin is code 6. Cavitation in opaque or discolored enamel exposing the dentin beneath involving at least half of the tooth surface. Ob obvious loss of tooth structure and dentin is clearly visible on the walls and at the base in the cavity that involves at least half of the tooth surface. The marginal ridge may or may not be present. Igda's Deshan tree. As a clinician, you can start here. If you see a patient, tooth which is scary is visible when wet. After dry and re-examination, if any opacity or discoloration is seen, then it should be coded as 1. If there is no opacity or discoloration is seen, is code 0. After the caries was visible when wet, then you have to check whether cavity with this exposed dentin. If yes, we have to check more than half the tooth is involved or not. If more than half of the tooth is involved, then it's code 6. If less than half of the tooth is involved, it's code 5. And if the cavity with exposed dentin, you have to check undermining shadow is there. If undermining shadow is there, then you have to code as 4. If there is no undermining shadow, you have to check whether is there any micro cavitation. If it's micro cavitation is there, then it's code 3. If there is no micro cavitation, you have to check whether lesion confined to the base of fissure. If yes, it's code 1. If the lesion does not confine to the base of the fissure, it's code 2. ICCMS, IGDAS, International Caries Classification and Management System. Initial patient assessments, that is histories and data collections can be done. Caries direction, activity and enhanced risk assessments has to be done. The participants who are listening to the lecture, after this workshop, the participants who had listened to the lectures will be knowing more about the caries risk assessment methods. The synthesis and the decision making is the most important as a clinician, considering all clinical treatments, whether it's non-surgical and surgical as required with prevention, by all the four putting together to be framed as patient-centered treatment plan. The first one is preventing caries initiation by use of a fluoridated toothpaste according to the IAPD Bangkok declaration. Preventive management of early caries that is secondary prevention by sealing the deep pit and fissures and regular fluid awareness application according to the child needs and tooth preserving operative plan that is a minimal invasive industry like indirect pulp capping, halt technique etc. Review monitoring recall is the most important step for the clinicians and also the request to all the participants this is the most important to be followed in which we have to review the treatment what you've done through monitoring via recalling the patient periodically. ICCMS 4D caries care cycle. The first T is to determine the patient level caries risk. It includes of head and neck radiation, dry mouth, inadequate OH practices, deficient exposure to topical fluoride, high frequency amount of sugar consumed, symptomatic driven attendance, socioeconomic status, mother's high DMF that is caries experience, the next D is to detect and assess the KD staging and activity status, in which ICCMS KD's categories as sound, in which depicts no evidence of visible KDs after 5 seconds of air drying, that is IGDAS score 0. Whether the initial active or inactive status depicts first or distinct visual change in the enamel, that is IGDAS score 1 and 2. Moderately active or inactive, in which the enamel gets breakdown and underlying dentin shadow is evident, that is IGDAS score 3 and 4, in which the extensive active or inactive caries lesion depicts the distinct cavity with visible dentin, in which IGDA score of 5 and 6 can be given. Next is to assess the intraoral risk factors such as hyposalivation or dry mouth, PUFA or dental sepsis, caries experience, thick plaque, greater biofilm retention exposed to root surfaces. The third D is to decide personalized care plan and patient tooth levels, that is the decision making on a personalized care plan in which management at the patient level can be done through ICCMS low likelihood, moderately likelihood and high likelihood, in which management of individual active lesions can be done through ICCMS sound or ICCMS initial active or inactive lesions, ICCMS moderately active or inactive lesions, ICCMS extensive active or inactive lesions. The fourth D is to do appropriate tooth and patient preserving caries prevention and control intervention that is a management. Management at the patient level is a home care, 
twice a tooth brushing greater than 1000 ppm of fluorides which improves the oral health behavior and fluoride mouth rinse can also be used means the clinical interventions or approaches are motivational engagement improve oral hygiene and reduce the sugars by professional cleaning that is scaling and 2 to 4 years fluoride varnish gel solution can be used when modified hypo solution intervention recall is 1 to 3 months in high carry risk patients 3 to 6 months in moderate 6 to 12 months in low likelihood carry risk patients the management of individual lesions in which can be done through non operative care control and tooth preserving operative care under non operative care control fluoride varnish gel or toothpaste can be used and sealing or resin based gi infiltrations can be done using pitrifish sealants mechanical biofilm removal has to be done tooth preserving by operative care includes of tooth preservative restorations such as stepwise excavation pulp preserving restorations uh, sealing halt technique art etc conclusion it does a simple logical evidence based system for detection and classification of caries in dental education clinical practice dental research and dental public health iccms is to prevent the new caries lesions and arrest the existing lesions and to preserve the tooth structure of lesions that need operative care it's my signature style of ending my presentation with superstar rajnikanth so you all know this is still taken from a movie called kochdian so now the main theme from the movie which i had taken is the change is the only thing that never change matram ondan maaradhu how rajini had updated and moved from acting from a normal film to motion capture technology through a film called kochdian similarly we should also update from igdas to iccms to assess the patient care issues level which will help to excel in our clinical practice thank you all for your undivided attention if any further questions or queries kindly write up to the following mail id kcvignesh@sinamachandra.edu.in